Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'll be showing you all the coolest and simplest way to transition from a third person character to a nice body cam view. You can do this anytime in game. It's a really smooth transition, works quite well as you can see. So yeah. Be sure to follow the video to the end and do leave a like and subscribe if it helps you. Let's dive right into the video. So let's start. So right now I have the default third person camera as you can see. Uh, let's change this to like a body cam. So firstly we want to enable the gameplay cameras plugin make sure this is enabled i'm using unreal engine 5.7 uh, it is i think auto enabled in this if you're using other version make sure this is enabled now i'll just make a new folder in my content browser for gameplay cams and Over here, if you come into gameplay, first thing we want to create is a camera asset. This we will do a blueprint camera director. I name this BCD underscore gameplay cam. If you open this, you will see there is no director evaluator class so you won't be able to build it if you don't have one go ahead and create a new one so i named this camera director let's go again play all right so you have your gameplay director Alright, so now next thing, open up your third person character class and I will delete this camera boom and the follow camera. Now Next thing, we want to add a gameplay camera. So you can see it's added. Over here, we will assign the camera asset. Now, uh, since we are only going to have one state, I'll, we need to create a new camera rig. I'll name this body cam. So from the root node, first thing you need a sequence. From that, you need your boom up. So this is basically telling you where you want. So let's place it at 0, 0, 0 and see the result. So once you do that, inside your evaluator you will type camera rig you will find activate camera rig and select the body cam now inside a third person one thing you want to do is auto activate for player is disabled you want to change that to player zero now let's see so if you can see, you are getting the effect, but you can see it's still very weird. You can see the weird in character clipping and other stuff. Let's fix that. 
first thing I want to do is inside my camera rig boom up. Let's change the boom offset. Firstly, what we need is height. So let's add some Z offset to it. So I'll add like a value of 10. And in X, also I'm going to add a value of 20. So it's a bit forward. Now, if you play, you can see yeah next thing uh, what we want to do is add a field of view so the default is 90 we will reduce it a bit so let's say something of 45 Probably 60 is fine. Lastly, let's also add a camera shake prefab and create a new asset. I name this camera shake underscore body cam. Open it up. It's not a single instance. So from the root node, just we'll add a composite shake for now. Or we can add a location shape. That's also fine. Let's just see how it is. You can see it's moving a bit. Now let's play with the values. So Z can be 2. And we want X to move a bit. Yeah. So one thing you can do is for the frequency multiplier can take it from the character if needed but that's fine I'll probably increase the Z a bit more and you have a nice first person body cam with idle breathing So yeah, that's the quickest way and you, know, you can add now more stuff to it and inside the camera director, inside your blueprint camera, you can probably add, let's say, We can add a dampen position if needed. And we can do a forward damping of let's say one. Okay, that is too much. Probably 
something like 7 or so. One is a bit slow. No, I don't think this works. Well, we will remove this. Around fifteen. You can do that and probably increase the boom arm to twenty five. Probably play around these with these values. And yeah, that's nice. Let's see what else we can add. We've already added a field of view. We don't need input for this. And yeah, if you want to add something like switch back to, let's say, a third person view, what we can do is uh, rotate this camera right I'll do third person we will change the boom arm x will be something around minus 100 30 10 we need to also add an input axis binding over here and and the mouse. Now, let's just check this once. If this is right. I think we put the wrong input access binding. Is it this one? Or should I just remove this? Because it was working fine with the other. Alright. Okay. So, next thing, we need to increase this a bit. And Z will be even higher. And yeah, that's a good, nice third person view. So let's do a switching inside a third person and a new variable. We name this is body cam, something like that. And on your event graph, when I press keyboard event, let's say Q. We'll do a flip-flop and do something like this. One thing is, inside your camera leg, we go into transition. We can add an exit transition, do a camera leg transition, and we can do a smooth blink. And time can be something like 0 0.5. Do the same for your body cam. And a camera rig transition with a smooth blend, 0 0.5. Now, inside your director, we will do Type in context evaluation, find evaluation context owner, class, select your third person character or the character class and get, we will get the body cam and connect this branch. If it's false, we'll activate this way. If it's true, we want to activate the body cam. Let's test. I press 
queue. We switch to body cam. If I press Q again, we switch to third person. Yeah, that sounds good. I think we need to add a bit more noise. And I will remove this from the third person camera. Yeah. So this is your default third person. If I press Q. We're going to a body cam mode. Sweet. And yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, do leave a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys.